Hi, I'm Jamie Allen from LG Chem. It's Australia's largest supplier of solar home batteries. We get asked lots of questions. Today we're at an existing installation and we're going to try to address these five key points. Come with me and have a look. A typical Solar Plus storage solution comprises of a solar array, an inverter, a battery and an energy meter. The solar array produces DC energy and also the battery charges and discharges in DC energy. So basically the DC energy from your solar array and your battery needs to be converted to AC energy for your appliances and that's what the inverter does. Most systems can also provide backup power in the event of a blackout. So please just be aware when you're selecting a different inverter or battery system because some will provide that and others won't. So if you have an existing solar system, there is the ability to add a battery to that. But we recommend speaking to a qualified installer who will give you the best advice as to what size system will suit you. There's quite a few benefits by adding an energy storage system. Number one is energy independence, so protection from rising electricity costs. You get to use your own clean and green energy day and night. You have backup power for some systems, so it's very critical for lots of families. It increases your property value and it's a positive geared asset. Consumers need to be aware that you get what you paid for. This is a long-term investment, so we recommend choosing reputable and proven manufacturers. They'll support your warranties into the future. Also choosing reputable installers, which can be found on the lgchem.com.au website. So here we've got a few different key components to the system. One is the battery, so this is the LG Chem Resu 10H. We also have the inverter, which converts the DC energy from the solar array up on our roof to AC energy in the home. Additionally, this inverter can charge the battery in DC, so it will charge and discharge that system. Now that's all done by a little energy meter, which is located in your switchboard, and that's reading the energy flow. 